You just got your saint makeup in. I'm gonna walk you through a very slow and step-by-step -step process of exactly how to apply it. So all of your makeup are gonna come in these little tins and then you're gonna have your palette. And then you're just gonna click your little tins into your palette and everything is magnetic. So you can pop them out whenever they run out and replace them. You can arrange these in your palette however you want. There really is no right or wrong way. You can also move them around if you wanna change up your order. The very first thing that you wanna make sure you do is apply a good moisturizer to your face before you put your makeup on. So I use the Nourish by Pomifera. You can use whatever moisturizer you have. You just wanna make sure that it is not silicone based because silicone does not work well with cream makeup. I'm gonna show you two different techniques of applying. One half of my face, I'm gonna use my finger and do the dots and then blend. On the other side, I'm gonna use the 3D brush to apply and blend. At first, your creams may feel a little bit thick and dry just because they haven't been used yet and so you have to kind of use them to get them nice and creamy. You can also hit them with a blow dryer for a few seconds and warm them up. And so contour is gonna go along the top of your forehead and I like to keep it on my actual cheekbone right about where my ear meets my face and I stop at about the corner of my eye and then I'm gonna bring it down the side of my nose kind of staying on the top side of my nose. You can also do your jawline. I always apply my contour first because it is the thickest product, so it gives it a little more time to sit on my skin and get nice and warm. So on this side, I'm gonna use the domed end of the 3D brush, and I'm going to apply my contour in the same areas. I'm just using a brush this time. This is gonna give a little bit more coverage, and it might be easier to apply this way. I would try both and see which one you like. All right, so along the cheekbone, jawline, and down the side of my nose. Next, I'm going in with my brightening shade and I'm gonna apply that to the inner corner of my eyes and the outer corner. And I'm also gonna apply that down the center of my face to just brighten things up. Again, if I was using the brush, I would use the other side of the brush and I would put just a little bit in this inner corner and the outer corner. And of course, I would bring it down the center of my face as well. And I'm gonna move on to my main highlight color. This is the color that's gonna match your skin tone. So I just apply it in the places where I don't have anything else. So I'm just filling in the gaps, but making sure not to apply too much product. A little bit of product with this makeup goes a long way. If you can feel it on your face, you have too much product on. Going back in with the side that I did the contour, I'm gonna dip into my main color and just fill in the spaces where I don't have anything. And again, just doing a little bit of product. For your lip and cheek color, you're gonna put that right above where you have your contour. And of course on your lips. So again, using that same end where I applied the contour and main highlight color, I'm gonna put that lip and cheek color right above my contour. I highly recommend spraying your face with a setting spray before you blend. This is really just gonna help the makeup blend really easily and it's also going to help your makeup to last all day. So I'm gonna spray my face with the setting spray. I do about five sprays. I'm going in with that same brush. If you only have this brush, you can certainly blend with this one. I love blending with the blush and bronzer brush, but sticking with just the basics, I'm gonna stick with just this one brush. I'm gonna start with the little tapered end and blend out my lighter colors first. Now I'm gonna flip the brush over and I'm gonna blend out that medium shade. And then I'm gonna start blending out my contour. So for contour, you're just gonna press it up into your hairline. And when you get to your cheek area over here, you're just gonna marry those two colors together and press them up and back towards your hairline. Okay, I'm gonna do this side. You wanna make sure not to over blend because you still wanna have the dimension and the brightening and everything in the right places. So I'm not gonna over blend, I'm just kind of blending around the areas and just making sure there aren't any lines or anything like that. Forget to blend out your jawline. 
once you're all blended out, kind of like feel your face and make sure that it doesn't feel super tacky. If it does, you have a little bit too much product on and next time just make sure you use a little less product. It should look very natural on your skin. It, sh it should not look like it's settling into your pores or your fine lines or anything like that. That usually means you have too much product on or that your shades may be off. So if that's happening, then reach out to me and let's check your shades. It should look like your skin. It should feel like your skin, but it should give you this beautiful glow and dimension and coverage and brightness. I hope this slow tutorial really helped and let me know if you have any questions or concerns. If you want to be color matched for this makeup and you haven't been matched yet, then just go to colormatchbychelsea.com.